Today's infrastructure is distributed across cloud platforms, on-prem servers, Kubernetes clusters, Windows desktops, and more. And approaches centered on VPNs and bastion hosts have only led us to unnecessary complexity and frustrated engineers. They don't scale, they're expensive to maintain, they're highly centralized, which, among other things, introduces latency, they actually increase security vulnerabilities, and can hinder any sort of real regulatory compliance. On top of this, the majority of data breaches stem from some sort of compromise static credential, passwords, API tokens, or SSH keys that never expire and aren't tracked. And these are common in legacy VPN setups. Well, Teleport Zero Trust Access offers a modern alternative to legacy VPNs, addressing security, friction, and management challenges many organizations are struggling with. Teleport, under the principles of not trusting any user, device, application, or network address by default, replaces static secrets by exchanging passwords, keys, and tokens for ephemeral certificate-based credentials that are presented with each connection and auto-expire. And these certificates aren't just a secure replacement for passwords. They also carry, with them, identity and access context. They can reflect a user's roles and permissions, the device they're on, even location or policy metadata, giving Teleport a reliable way to enforce RBAC, device trust, and auditing at every step. No keys to rotate, no passwords to leak, and no standing credentials shared among engineers. And the implications here are huge because this then creates a consistent, cryptographically verified foundation that everything else can build on, such as unified infrastructure access. With this foundation in place, Teleport can unify access across all your infrastructure, your servers, Kubernetes clusters, databases, desktops, and cloud environments through a single identity-aware control plane. Engineers authenticate once through their identity provider like Okta or IntraID, or passwordless using Touch ID, Face ID, or a hardware key. Teleport then issues the user a time-bound SSH in X509 certificate that expires in a configurable amount of time. This certificate also includes what roles the user has access to, or role mappings in the case of SSO. And this role-based access control is how Teleport handles authorization, or who can access what. So you can see my roles here granting me access to specific enrolled resources like SSHing into my Jenkins server, connecting to a Kubernetes cluster, or Grafana running in a private network, or scoped AWS Cloud Console access. Even TCP apps, or non-browser-based apps that engineers use CLIs or other dev tools to connect with, can be securely accessed with Teleport's VNet. Whatever it is, Teleport securely brokers every connection based on a valid certificate. No VPNs, no exposed endpoints, no static keys, and in contrast, satisfied security teams and engineers free to actually work without access hurdles to break through. And for elevated privileged roles or resource access that shouldn't be granted long-term, users can submit an access request as part of Teleport identity governance to temporarily gain those permissions upon approval a just-in-time access model that provides the access they need only when they need it. For example, a contractor can request a two-hour database maintenance window on a resource, or an on-call SRE gets a 30-minute cube admin role during an incident, each enforced by a short-lived certificate that auto-expires and is fully audited. But so far, we've been talking about human identities. What about machines and workloads like CI-CD automation, microservices, or AI agents? Credentials held and used by machines are often elevated, root level, and far more numerous than those held by humans. And most importantly, they need identities also. Well, Teleport's machine and workload identity extends the same zero trust principles to machines, allowing them to authenticate, and then Teleport generating the short-term artifacts like an SSH config or a cube config in order for that machine to run on Teleport enrolled resources. Compare the impact of numerous, long-lived, unmanaged root access keys for your machines with Teleport's time-bound certificate access that limits how long a stolen credential could even be used by an attacker if exfiltrated. And for workloads not directly managed by Teleport, it can issue certificates that are compatible with the open source Spiffy standard. That means they can be trusted and used by any Spiffy compliant system like Istio or Spire to establish secure mutual trust between your workloads running across different clouds and environments. And finally, because every identity in Teleport, human, machine, or workload, operates under the same certificate-based model in a unified access plane, every event emitted by an identity can be 
audited. Teleport captures detailed events for every event and session, giving you a clear record of who did what, where, and when. You can review structured logs, replay SSH or cube cuddle sessions directly in Teleport, or export events to your SIM or monitoring pipeline for deeper analysis and compliance. It's visibility that goes beyond simple logging, an identity-based audit trail that's trusted and tamper-resistant by design. So as systems, workloads, and teams continue to scale across clouds and distributed environments, Teleport's zero trust access is built to scale with them, keeping every connection secure, streamlined, and identity driven. You can check out a 14 day free trial of Teleport Enterprise Cloud today. I'll put a link below to it to get started. Thank you for watching.